Welcome everyone to another Tarleton Radio's Top 10 List. In honor of Pride Month, we'd like to dedicate this list to the LGBTQIA plus community. Before we start, we'd like to say that there are so many more people that could be added to our list that have made such an incredible impact on this community. However, we do only have 10 spots, so we compiled a list ourselves of who we felt are most relevant to today's events and reflects the diversity of this great community. That being said, let's get started with the top 10 most pivotal LGBTQ plus people from history to now. Our number 10 spot goes to someone known to most of the community as Lesbian Jesus, Haley Kiyoko. 28-year-old singer, songwriter, and actress came out publicly with her single Girls Like Girls, and in her 2018 speech at the Billboard Women in Music Awards, she spoke up saying, quote, No one wants to be brave, and I found my purpose in life and the ability to embrace my truth. Our number nine spot goes to Kyler Brodus, an attorney and transgender man who focused on LGBTQ plus law and transgender rights. He was also the first transgender American to testify in front of the U.S. Senate in favor of the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. Coming in at number 8 is Lena Waithe, screenwriter, producer, and actress. She was the first black woman to win an Emmy for comedy writing and dedicated her 2018 GLAAD Awards speech to the LGBTQ plus community. Identifying herself as queer, she stressed the need for the community to be united. Our number seven slot goes to Miss Laverne Cox. She is most famously known for her role as Sophia on Orange is the New Black and as the first trans person to be nominated for an Emmy. She is also known to speak up for transgender rights and share her testimony as a trans woman of color. As one of the most influential people of the LGBT plus community in the past year, Number six goes to Sharice Davids. She was the first openly gay woman of color elected into Congress. Her background in mixed martial arts and the military forces gives young members of the LGBTQ plus community a truly strong role model to look up to in United States politics. Taking number five is a man who had to play a behind the scenes role in the civil rights movement, Bayard Rustin. Rustin was a close advisor to Martin Luther King Jr. and the organizer of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. Ten years earlier, however, he was very publicly arrested for being gay. Because of this, unfortunately, Rustin remained only an advisor to many civil rights leaders, staying clear of the public eye until the 1970s, when he became an advocate on behalf of gay and lesbian causes. Number four goes to a woman widely known as the mother of the LGBT plus civil rights movement, Barbara Giddings. Giddings enlisted activists for the first public demonstrations for gay and lesbian equality. Every 4th of July from 1965 to 1969, the protests were held in front of Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Giddings also campaigned for the declassification of homosexuality as a mental disorder. Our third slot goes to a man who was the subject of an Oscar-winning film called Milk, Harvey Milk. He is known as the first openly gay politician elected to public office. In his short time, he was able to pass California's first ordinance, making discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation illegal. Unfortunately, after only eight months in office, Milk was assassinated in November 1978. However, his message lives on to encourage LGBTQ plus citizens to live openly as to achieve social equality. Number two on our list goes to the mother of pride, Brenda Howard. While an advocate for her entire life, her most notable achievement was the organization of the very first Gay Pride Week and the Christopher Street Liberation Day Parade, which would later evolve into New York City's annual Pride March. She fought for bisexual visibility in the LGBTQ plus community and was never scared to show her sexuality. 
number one on our list is a woman who showed the courage to stand up against discrimination and truly horrible violence against the LGBT plus community, Marsha P. Johnson. Ms. Johnson, along with friend Sylvia Rivera, began the famous Stonewall Riots. The riots were a catalyst marking the beginning of the LGBTQ plus activism and fight for LGBT rights. Marsha later on established the Transgender Action Revolutionaries, or SAR, committed to helping homeless transgender youth in New York City. While tragically killed in July 1992 at age 46, Marsha remains a model for the protection of human rights of transgender people, especially transgender gender people of color. From everyone here at Tarleton Radio, we wish you a happy Pride Month and make sure you tune into our station 100.7 The Planet for your favorite rock and hip hop top hits. And thanks for watching. If you'd like more of these top 10 lists, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel, Tarleton Radio.